Hey everyone, it's Dr. Raven. I was doing research on the melanin molecule. Found out that researchers are exploring it as a semiconductor for implantable bioelectronics to treat diseases like Parkinson's. My mind was blown. This is Wakanda. And so let me explain to you what this all means. It sounds like a lot, but it's actually really cool. Electricity is all about the flow of electrons, which are these teeny tiny charged particles. These charged particles move through a material called a conductor. Conductors like metals let electrons move freely while insulators like rubber or plastic stop electron flow. Melanin, it's not just a pigment that gives us our skin, hair color, eye color. It's actually a complex molecule with unique properties that researchers are discovering could revolutionize the field of bioelectronics. It's super cool. Bioelectronics are a class of medical devices that use electrical signals to interact with our body's biological system. These devices often involve advanced materials like semiconductors or biocompatible materials to help electronic components communicate with living tissues. Melanin is super special because it acts as a semiconductor. It can conduct electricity under certain conditions and this property has caught people's attention who are considering melanin as a potential material for implantable bioelectronic devices. You can imagine a world where we'll use melanin to create cutting-edge devices capable of treating diseases. Dr. Raven, how do we get this melanin? Where that melanin coming from? A lot of people think that we actually getting this from people. One, no, we're not getting this from people. <laughs> The actual conventional approaches for isolating melanin include getting them from natural sources like octopus ink. Y'all know when the octopus get all scared and they, and they run away and they squirt ink? That ink is black because it has melanin in it. That is black ink. We can get melanin from types of fungus. We can get melanin from types of bacteria. There's melanin all around us. It's actually very inconvenient to try to extract melanin from human tissue. I honestly hope that this inspires people to become scientists so that we can continue exploring all of these molecular discoveries. I mean, we're talking about a molecule that we're looking at every day. It's what makes us look like this. And we're still learning about all of its amazing features.